on, you two. You must know something. <laughs> we just work here, Lucy. Steve is your father, and Celeste, along with Amy, you happen to be Gossip Central. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, Lucy. He must be leaning somewhere. It, he must must have a, a candidate in mind that he's favoring for assistant chief of staff. Well, if he does, he's not telling anyone. I do know he's interviewing all the applicants today. Okay, could you just please keep your ears open? Oh, Dr. Hardy, good morning. Uh, how are you? Cheat off. <clears throat> Any particular reason? You'll find out soon enough. I want you, Patrick, Walt, and Woodruff in my office at 4 o'clock sharp. What's up? We'll discuss it then. Celeste, notify the others. I'll try, but it may be hard, Dr. Hardy. Uh, I think Woodruff has a split shift today, and Patrick has a day off. I don't care if they've gone to China. Anybody who misses this meeting is fired. Oh, day off, Ruby. I can't believe it. You know, and I, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself today. Well, I wish I had that problem. You know, it is almost too good to be true. I keep expecting this phone to ring, and this little anonymous voice is going to be saying, I'm at the General Hospital. You have been working too hard. <laughs> Don't answer it. <laughs> Kelly. Oh, hi, Celeste. What can I do for you? Yeah. Yeah, he's here. Oh, you don't want to be the one to tell him, I say. Tell him I went to the moon. I've left forever. Celeste, I think you'd better speak to him yourself. I tell you what, I'll wrestle him to the floor and hold the phone to his ear. Hang on. Enough. What, what did I tell you about caffeine and older people? Huh? Will, you, will you just knock it off? <laughs> well, at least, at least, at least he's got his choppers. Look at that. I can see him up there. No. Yeah, I am certainly choppers. glad that you're enjoying oh, yourself. I mean, you know, I haven't had this much fun since he got dumped by this broad in Rio. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, no, 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 don't, no, don't, don't, don't go into this. Is, no, this you're going to love it. Of course. Right, we met this delightful young lady while we were on a mission down there. Oh, it, was, mm. it was a while ago. Right. We're staying at this hotel, so, so the old son figures he's going to go for the main chance. So he, 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 he arranges to have a little assignation. That's date. <laughs> and they're going to meet in the downstairs bar in our hotel. Well, he goes down there. I followed that, oh, three quarters of an hour later. He's on his own. <laughs> well, he's on his own, so it's... He's on his own. So. <laughs> anyway, after I've been talking to him about ten minutes, it's, it's blatantly apparent that he's been stood up. So, not wanting to hang around and look like a bigger fool any longer, oh. we decided to do a little bit of club hopping. The first club we hop into, who should be dancing on the floor but Pretty Pretty? <laughs> what did you With do? a bloke about twice his age. Oh. Yeah. What did you do? I took it bad. Bad? Took it bad. Real bad? Yeah. <laughs> took it bad. Immediately. Immediately did a nosedive straight into a bottle of tequila. Only came up long enough to mumble the words, life is over. <laughs> that was years ago. You can imagine how he must feel now. Oh, that, you know, there's nothing like uh, sitting around reminiscing. <laughs> oh, that's the key word here. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of women that would love to go out. You're right. Mature the mature women. type. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think of the fun you could have. You could have... You can have wheelchair marathons, wheelchair swap meets, play mahjong. Mahjong, what's that? It's an old game. It's old. It's real old. <laughs> are, are you two really old? <laughs> are you finished? I'm almost. I'm getting. I'm getting. Now, I never said I was old. All I said was I didn't think my reflexes were what they used to be. What you, who's ah? Well, you didn't let a crate fall on you. But, but come on, any that could have happened to anybody. Your, your reflexes are as sharp as they ever were. They were never great to begin with. I mean, it's your well, that's because I've been hanging out with you for so many years. It certainly doesn't surprise me. You know, what you need, what you need is a chance to prove yourself. Oh, come on. That senorita's probably no, married no. five kids. Get, get, get your mind off that, will you? That's long gone. That's an opportunity you muffed. Mm. Now, what I was thinking about, thinking about something on the field of battle, a challenge. I, uh, I. I the noble Bobby will challenge you to a duel. Pistols at dawn. I was thinking more revolvers at 4 p.m. Uh, the range at the Everett Police Headquarters. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, why not? Really? <coughs> Probably won't even see the target, let alone hit it. I'll point you in the right direction. Well, well, who has Anna duty today? Is somebody bringing her to work? <sighs> well, I would imagine to do. The guy's done a complete 180 since uh, we got back from the mountain. I mean, he's, he's gone from accusing me of invading privacy to demanding even more protection. I kind of wonder why he do that. He 
you sleep well? Terribly. I love to be middle of it. the feeling you weren't entirely there. Well, this is theirs, I guess. Believe me. <laughs> oh, no. No, seriously, Anne. Um, it's like... Like, you, your mind was somewhere else. I don't know. What's bothering you? Hmm? Nothing. I was just, uh, I was worried about not waking up this morning, that's all. No. Come on. I know when you're upset. You have to tell me. Because we can't make those mistakes anymore. You know that? I'll get it. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm sure you have something better to do than to talk to me. <laughs> yeah, I can certainly think of one. Is she there? Yeah, very much so. I'm gonna have a shower. Okay. Now, just listen. <sighs> Never mind. And I just left the room. What have you got? Uh, Julian called. He said the meeting with Carter is set up for late this afternoon. Good. I want to get this lousy business straightened out as soon as possible. I almost lost it once because of my involvement with the mob. I'm not going to let it happen again. Yeah, we'll tell that to Carter. Yeah, I intend to, among some other things. Listen, buddy, I'll see you when I get back from New York City. I'm going with you, boss. No way am I going to let you face those people alone. We'll meet at the club here. Why do you meet me at the airport? I need to say goodbye to my wife. Well, how long can that take? <laughs> well, I'll see if I can get them to hold a plane. I'll be there. Your idea of a joke? What's, what's the matter? Well, this is our accreditation form. What did you think this was? A golden opportunity to air your petty grievances? I've never read such belly aching in my life. Steve, we were just voicing our. You've opinions. shown nothing but disdain for this hospital. If you feel so overworked and unappreciated, don't let the door hit you on the way out. We don't want you here anymore. Do you want us? Oh, wait a minute. What do you mean? Just leave General Hospital? If you think you can find a better hospital to work for. But don't come back crawling, begging for another chance. We won't tolerate gold breakers here. <laughs> Well, look, I, I, I can only speak for myself. I have no excuse for what I wrote, other than to say that everyone knows that accreditation is just a formality. GH has never had any problems before, right? Mainly because we've never taken accreditation for granted before, and we're not about to start now. Is that clearly understood? Yes, sir. Well, what do you have to say for yourselves? Well, on second thought, maybe I was a little harsh on the hospital. I didn't realize my opinion would make a difference. We'd never do anything to hurt this place. Look, do you think maybe we could have a, you know, another go at these forms? Okay, one more chance. 
But if I find a single wisecrack in any of these forms, I'm suspending all four of you. All of us? You're in this all together, gentlemen. Let's see what peer pressure can do for your opinions this time. Well, so that's what it's like to uh, face a firing squad. I think I got you this time. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, hold your fire. I'm coming in to retrieve the targets. Thank you. I don't believe it. I've been at gunned again. Mm. I still miss more than I should have, or more than I used to. Point is, you did win, and I'm not exactly a slouch with a handgun. I think this uh, ruins your theory about being washed up. A yeah, nice try, old buddy. Hmm? Come on, you did everything but point the gun at the ceiling and fire. You could have outshot me any time you wanted to. When did you ever know for me to allow you to win, and I meant it anything? <laughs> huh? You would if you thought I needed it badly enough, which is obviously the case here. I think you're confusing me with that old bloke that comes around every Christmas, the guy with the white beard. <sighs> Look, Robert, if I needed gifts, I'd ask my edge back. I really think we're talking about a serious inferior. Uh, if you think I'm wallowing in self-pity, that's not it at all. You call it whatever you like. I call it facing reality, and it's about time, wouldn't you say? <sighs> Prefer fantasies myself. Now, I've been living the biggest one of all, that I'd never grow old. It's pretty obvious to me that I'm not as sharp as I used to be. I can't ignore that any longer. <clears throat> I think before you turn in your guns, you owe me at least one more chance to get even. I'll take a pass. I look, look, all right, fair's fair. This time, I hold nothing back. I, not that I did before, of course. <laughs> you know something, you're great. You're my best friend. I love you like a brother. I'm getting back to the office. I still have a business to run. Excuse me. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I know. I will. I promise. Uh, yeah. Well, it's fine. Oh, hi. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, I... I just came by to see if Sean was feeling all right. Oh, well, physically, he's doing all right, but mentally, he's having some problems. Oh, really? Like what? Well, I'm sure he didn't call you and thank you for saving his life, did he? Well, no, but he doesn't owe me any thanks. Yeah. Well, no, you don't understand, Sean. It's not that he's ungrateful, it's just that he's very proud. Mm -hmm. And after getting caught underneath that crate like that, he realized he's not 20 anymore. <laughs> he's having a tough time dealing with it. Yeah, I know the feeling. You? How could you? You've got many years ahead of you. No, I think I peaked at about 16. Not from what I've seen. Uh, Felicia, can you come here a second, please? Uh, yeah, I'll be right there. Look, I know you're busy. Um, oh. I'll let you get back to work. Okay, well, I'll tell Sean to stop by. Thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound very convincing. Well, I've just had a lot on my mind lately. I'm a good listener. You know, if you were planning on uh, going to the prayer meeting tonight, maybe we could talk after? Okay. All right. I'll be there. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I'll see you there. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 